A damning new report out today calls into question exactly what Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel knew about the fatal police shooting of an African-American teenager, and perhaps even more importantly, when he knew it. 17-year-old Laquan McDonald was shot and killed October 2014. At the time, police said he lunged at an officer who then shot him in the chest. The autopsy report, however, showed that McDonald was shot 16 times, and video of the shooting showed that he was shot as he was walking away and shot multiple times while already on the ground. The officer who shot him has now been arrested and charged with murder. The shooting happened four months before Chicago's hotly contested mayoral election. The video of the shooting wasn't made public until a court ordered it released late last year. But that video was crucial, according to the city's top lawyer, in the city's decision to settle with Laquan McDonald's family. That settlement came down eight days after Ray Rahm Emanuel won his runoff election. Now, according to Chicago Tribune, Mayor Emanuel has maintained that he didn't understand the gravity of Laquan McDonald's shooting death until just before the city reached that settlement with the family. And B, he wasn't aware other officers may have falsified reports about the shooting until just after the video was released to the public. But now, the Tribune reports, Emanuel's top staffers became keenly aware the McDonald's shooting could become a legal and political quagmire in December 2014, more than three months before the mayor has said he was fully briefed on the issue. And lawyers for McDonald's family informed Emanuel's law department in March that police officers' version of what happened differed dramatically from the infamous shooting video. More than eight months before the mayor said he found out about the discrepancy and well after he, uh, after he agreed to settle the case for $5 million. Tribune reporter John Byrne pressed Mayor Ron Manuel on that particular point earlier today. Mr. Mayor, documents show that captains and others in your administration knew for months about the fact that the police reports were being matched back in the McDonald's case. How is it that you could possibly not know that given that you settled the case until after the video uh, was released? Uh, John, uh, the answer, which is consistent with and also what I've said before, uh, at that point, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the U.S. Attorney and the State's Attorney are looking into it, and that's exactly where it should be so they can get to the bottom of it, well, your top, Charles. But your top uh, mayor advisors did know about yeah. it, and they weren't telling you about it? No, that, the answer to it is because if you're going to get to the bottom of something and get to the uh, justice is exactly with the U.S. Attorney, FBI, and the State's Attorney. A short time after that press conference on the orders of a federal judge, a video was released showing another deadly police shooting, this one from 2013. Now, the city of Chicago had been, like within the case of the Laquan McDonald shooting, trying to prevent the footage from being released. But then yesterday, the city's top lawyer suddenly changed course and dropped the city's objection. The video was recorded from a surveillance camera, and it's not exactly clear as to what's happening, but you can make out what appears to be two plainclothes officers approaching a car that had been reported stolen. 17-year-old Cedric Chapman can be seen running away from the car, and an officer can be seen drawing his gun. In the next image, it appears that an officer is standing over Chapman's body. The officer who pulled his gun told investigators he thought Chapman was holding a gun, and he feared for the safety of himself and his partner. Chapman turned out to be just holding a box for an iPhone. Lorenzo Davis, a former supervisor for Chicago's Independent Police Review Authority, said he investigated the shooting and said, quote, he was running away, so why kill him? He also recommended the officer lose his job, but his decision was overruled. We had Davis on the show last summer. He told us he was fired because he would not change his findings about police shootings he considered unjustified. The city of Chicago maintains Chapman was shot justifiably. Meanwhile, the latest polls of Chicagoans show that 51% want Rahm Emanuel to resign.